Praise and honor and glory goes to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Akim out there pushing his word in true sincerity and uh, death and destruction to all the non believers. <clears throat> so I want to do this quick little lesson going into uh, how you know you have a lot of wicked men in our in our nation. <coughs> Excuse me. And how uh, they willingly um, <coughs> they willingly uh, follow after the ways of the heathen. Okay, and we we see that today, and this is this is no new story other under the sun. Okay, because these these same men are coming back in their lot. So I want to go into our uh, first back in Maccabees, the first chapter. I'm gonna go right to the point. You know, after after Alexander the uh, the creep, after he split he split his kingdom. You know that wicked line of uh, Antiochus. You know he he came into power during the kingdom of the Greeks, and uh, pretty much how our people they pretty much sold out. Okay, to 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 be as the be as a Greek. That's why a lot of our that's why a lot of our nation uh, during that time, okay, were uh, speaking Greek. Uh, they left all the customs of of their nativity. They left all the customs of being a Jew. So let me uh, let me go right into it. And this is uh First Maccabees one, and uh, thirteen. It says uh, uh, no, no, let me go up. First Maccabees one and eleven. In those days, went out there, went out there of Israel, wicked men, who persuaded many. Okay, so not only were these wicked men, but they they were uh they were very persuasive in their actions, saying, "Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we have much sorrow." So, uh, instead of following the the law, statute, and commandments, which the Lord He holds you up to a certain stomach standard, and that's why you were getting jacked up. You have these wicked men that wanted to partake. In the ways of the heathen okay it says and let me read that again it says in those days went out of israel so this is israelites wicked men okay who persuaded many saying let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us for since we departed from them we have much sorrow and this is like i said earlier it's part of the reason why during the time of yahweh shai okay you have so many israelites that didn't know that they that, that they were israelites Okay, uh, Gentiles, they were in a Gentile state of mind because during those days of uh, Antiochus, they uh, cast it off their ways. Okay, uh, verse 12, it says, so this displeased, this, this, uh, let me, in this, let me make sure I got that word right. Verse 12. Yeah, so, yeah, so this device pleased them well. Okay, yeah, device. Okay, there's no uh, V in the ancient, uh, not the ancient, but the the English during the 1600s. Okay, so this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward. So the word forward means perverse and crooked. Uh, therein, that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances ordinances of the heathen. So not only they forsook their their way, the way of Yah Bashmal Shai, but they got a, a license to do after the customs of the heathen, to to justify themselves and and being wicked. Okay, and this is exactly what you have today. Okay, you have uh, Jakes that are wicked, and the so-called white man gives them liberty to be wicked. Okay, it says. Wherefore, uh, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem. So the the very custom of a uh, gyms that came from that came from the Greeks. Okay, what's the word gymnasium? When you go into it in the Greek, it actually means naked, a house of nakedness. Okay, because during that time, uh, uh, they would you would have gyms and they would do exercises, push ups, sit ups. Okay, just as you do today, lifting weights. But they will be butt naked. Okay, they have the, the Olympics, okay, with different uh, uh, events. And they will be butt, butt naked. So Jake Jake wanted to partake 
in, in those customs, okay? According to the custom of the heathen. Okay, so this is an actual custom of the heathen. We didn't, we didn't practice that, okay? That's not in our book. That's not in our law to, uh, to be working out and, and uh, uh, doing, doing exercises butt naked. All right, and who's, who's in these gyms for the most part? Uh, are Israelites, you black Hispanic, the Native Americans. Okay, and you're pretty much, you're pretty much butt naked. The men, they go in there with cut off shirts or no shirts. The women, they go in there with tight uh, uh, spandex clothing, uh, uh, sports bras. And what do they do? They, they lift weights. Okay, they, uh, they look at each other. They lust after each, after each other. Okay, and they do all type of uh, uh, sick, demented things. They commit adultery. Okay, you got a lot of you have a lot of homosexuals in those gyms. So this was this this custom goes all the way back to Greek uh, Greece. Okay, this is a uh, verse fifteen and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant. Now, not necessarily they. You, there's no way that they can uncircumcise themselves physically, but this means that they pretty much cast it off the way. Of the scriptures okay and they made themselves un, un, uh, un, unto the heathen they made themselves like the heathen and then they stopped circumcising their children and their children start what oh, uh, start participating in the customs of the heathen to the point to where they they uh, they liken themselves as a Greek and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the Holy Covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief, okay? So this is exactly what Jake has done, and this is what they have done uh, here in, in in Babylon, okay? When you when you let them know that they are actual Israelites and that they have a custom, and they have a dress code, they have a, a culture, they have a language. They don't want to, They don't want to practice those customs, but they want to practice the customs of the heathen because the ways of the heathen entices them, okay? Because it's it's it looks pleasurable. Okay, it looks fun, and they count the the laws, statutes, commandments of Yah Bashem Al Shai to be um to be chains, to be uh, oppression. When in uh, actuality, the the law, statutes, and commandments, and the way of life, okay, uh, the way of the scriptures is life. Here's Proverbs twelve and uh twenty six. It says, "The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor." Okay, the neighbors, the neighbor is talking about all these other heathen nations, which when you go into the when we were just reading is that they wanted to do uh, after the custom of the heathen, which are a neighbor, uh, which are neighbors unto the children of Israel. The righteous is more excellent than, than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduce of them. Okay, so the ways that uh, the wicked, the ways of the wicked, which is. Uh, eating abominable foods, uh, sacrificing to uh, all different gods, okay, creating creating places of exercises, okay, all all manner of things that are against the holy scriptures, that seduces our people, okay, that that makes that that makes them uh, wanna that that makes them uh, uh, that entices them per se, okay. It makes them want to follow after the customs of the other nations. Okay? But what does the scriptures tell us to do? All right, the, the scriptures tell us not to follow the ways after the heathen. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay? And this just goes into some of the customs that the heathen were into. Okay? Which goes into pretty much Christmas. For the customs of the heathen are vain. Okay, the customs of the heathen are vain. Let's look at this word vain. I already know what it means. A ball. Okay. Uh, vapor, breath, breath, uh, uh, vapor, vanity. Okay, uh, let's come down here to strong definition. Emptiness. Okay. Uh, figuratively, something transitory. Okay, which is here and gone, uh, gone the next minute. Unsatisfactory. Okay, so transitory, unsatisfactory, that's the custom of the heathen. All right, because the Lord, he likened the heathen as a drop of the bucket. Okay, it says, for the custom of the heat of the people are vain, for one cut of a tree out of the forest 
the work of the hands of the workmen and with the axe, which it goes, it just goes into uh, a worship in different idols there and these different customs that these heathens uh, uh, practice. Okay. Now let me, um, let's go back into Maccabees and let's go down and just read it a little bit here. Now this is uh first Maccabees 1 and 40, 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. Now this is pretty much the the new world order. Okay, when they say be all one people is meaning to uh, learn the way of the Edomite, okay, which is death. And everyone should leave their laws, his laws, okay? Because all nations had different laws, okay? All nations have different customs. So Ant Antiochus, during the time of the Greeks, he said, and everyone should leave his laws, because at that time, you know, they were conquering all the different nations. A lot of these nations were conquered. Okay, uh, Alexander the, the creep, he split, up his, he split his kingdom up. So all the heathen agreed. So all the heathen around about him agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, also, yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. So this is an actual religion, which the word religion, uh, religio means to, uh, to bind and constraint. Okay. So instead of being uh, bound down, uh, bound and constrained, constrained by the way of Yahweh Shemal Shai, which is life. Okay. They wanted to be bound and constrained by and consent to the way of the heathen and 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 the the worst of the heathen the chief of the heathen the edomites and sacrifice unto idols and profane the sabbath okay so a lot of the a lot of the israelites they consented man which they're they're consenting with the uh with the with the devil uh this very day this is uh jeremiah 5 and 26 i had it up here Jeremiah 5 and 26, for my, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set up snares, they set a trap, they catch men. During that time of the Greeks, you had men that persuaded other men to be wicked. And this is essentially what our people are doing today with this rap music, with, uh, with black and Hispanic culture. Okay, they entice them with the, uh, the flashy things with money. OK, because our people are in poverty. So they believe that all these things, they believe that wickedness, since wickedness is prospering, they believe that that's the way that's the that's the way to do it. Instead of following the Lord, which is uh, which is a straight and narrow path, a path of difficulty. OK, and when you come to the Lord, uh, 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 wisdom is going to try you. So our people don't want to be tried. They want to they want to they wanna, uh, uh, appease themselves by uh, taking on the customs of the heathen. So this this story has always been played out since our people have became a nation. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, stupid children. OK, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good. They have no knowledge. OK, you see that. Our people, when it comes to doing good, they have no knowledge in doing good. OK, but it comes to doing a wickedness. All right, they have uh, all the knowledge in the world. Okay, they're able to uh, they're able to set up snares and traps. Okay, they they uh, they they feign themselves righteous, but in but in reality they are they're wicked. Okay, they said the Lord said they're foolish, they're 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 reprobates, they're void of understanding. Okay, when it comes to the understanding of the scriptures, okay, our people reject it. Okay, so that's why. Uh, the Lord, he has rejected them. And you know what? Let me, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up on that scripture. Uh, and this is why our people are so destroyed because they want to take on uh, the cus They want to be as the heathen. Okay. When you don't understand that living as living as a heathen, you're going to be destroyed as the heathen. Okay. You're going to actually get a worse a judgment. Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest of me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy, thy, children, thy children. Okay? And we're in the forgotten age. We're in the, we're in the age where the Lord has forgotten the two-thirds. That's why they're so destitute. That's why they're, they're, on, they're on drugs. They all, they all look all messed up. Their mind is, is totally destroyed. 
Okay, and when you present life to them, which is the scriptures, what do they do? They reject it. Okay, and they don't even consider that the situ the reason why they're in their situation is because they went against the power. They went against the, the only power, okay? But they they love these heathen, they love these Edomite Greek Greek and Roman names. They love they love these these gyms, these places of exercise, they love the medical, these medical fields, they love Esau's academia. Okay, they love his philosophies. Okay, they're dr they're drunk off his philosophies, but the philosophies are the way of the, of the Most High. It's life, and I'm gonna read that. Proverbs twelve and twenty eight. In the way of the of the righteous is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. Okay, so uh, death, death. There's there is no way in the pathway of righteousness. Okay, and following following after the, the Most High, being after the Most High's heart, doing as He to tells you to do. Coming back to your nationality, but in the way of the wicked, there's nothing but death. Okay, you know. So with that, I just wanted to do a quick lesson, just going into a little bit of the history, and um, and pretty much you know showing you out of the scriptures that our people, they uh, they consent to the heathen, and there really there's no saving two thirds. Okay, their two thirds are already destined for destruction. So with that, I want to say shalom.